What was so, the most difficult thing to write in the book? What was the hardest part? The hardest? Mm -hmm. I, I think being really vulnerable uh, vulnerable about my drinking for real mm -hmm. because I talked about it. When I was on the talk, I, I talked about it. Mm -hmm. Yes, I had an issue. But I don't even think I actually admitted it to myself. Did when you did you realize you had a problem? Like you just like what made you say? Honestly, okay, my DUI. Mm. My DUI was the time that and not not even just the moment of the DUI, it was when I couldn't drink. It was when they told me I had to wear the ankle thing. Um and the I ankle had thing for drinking? Yeah, because what was it? You know, back then they were giving out them fucking things for some reason in LA. Monitor. Yeah, the ankle mm -hmm. monitor for some reason they were giving them out because they could tell through your blood weirdly oh. that if you were drinking. Mm -hmm. So I had 56 days where I couldn't drink. And I was so scared of that 56 days because I couldn't remember a time where I hadn't drank. So I even begged my lawyer at the time, like, can I go do community service at a hospice? Can I go like, I'll do anything? And she was like, no, this is what you have to do. Um, and it say and I, and I say this in the book, it saved my life because it was the first time in a very long, actually not even a very long time. It was the first time I ever sat with my fucking emotions, mm. like actual, why am I drinking? Mm -hmm. What am I trying to cover up? Why am I trying to numb myself? What is the problem? And I had to sit with my shit and I cried a fucking lot and I needed it. I needed it. So, what was the biggest moment in, when, when you were sitting with yourself? What was the like biggest thing where you're like, dang, like I'm I'm really dealing with this. I yeah. can't even believe this is something I have to deal with. Well, because I lived in L.A. too, so I had a psychic lady. Um, and I say that because you know how it is in L.A., but I believe in all that shit. I don't care. Some people are really good. a medium or a psychic? Yes, a medium. A medium, okay. I okay. had a medium. And you yes. still have one to this day? No, I don't, but if you know somebody, give me the number. No, 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 go ahead. No, because so it, it she was very like... And I and I take it for what it's worth. Mm -hmm. I take it for what it's worth. She was very good. She wasn't the type. She wasn't scary. She was just like, she just could read you. And it was more like energetically, she was just like, at one point, I would call her for everything because I didn't trust myself. Um, and one day she fired me. <laughs> she, I called mean? her and she was like, no. She was like, you're depending on me for too much. She was like, I have to let you go. Really? And I was like, oh, shit. She's good. <laughs> I didn't yeah. even know you people, could get that sounds fired like a therapist. Most people would have kept yeah, that money no, rolling she in. And that's why I know she was good. My friends who got fired by their therapist are like really messed up. So how did you get fired by a psychic? I know. What did she, you call? What was that call? I what literally, I wouldn't even, but I, honestly, I would be like, can you come do an energy clearing over here? Can you come do that? And she was like, at one point I called her and I was like just in this dark place. And she was like, you know what you need to do. I am not responsible for you. You have to figure this out. And this was during that time, the DUI. This was all that shit where I was just trying to figure shit out. And I, at the end of the day, you cannot look outside yourself. Mm -hmm. It does not matter who it is mm -hmm. or what they do. You have to look within. Mm -hmm. And that shit sounds cliche now too sometimes, but mm -hmm. it's the fucking real, it's the realest thing ever. So um, yeah, it just forced me to sit with myself, talk to myself, go mm -hmm. back to my roots, go pray. What was you that know what moment? I'm saying? Like, what was that moment in LA that you were about to talk about when you, that was like the like the really big dark moment that you got into? It was the just it was me crying on the floor, depression, crying crying in a closet, like literally and calling her, like literally calling her. That's why I brought her up and just being like, "Listen, I need you to help me figure this out." And she's like, "No, no, I'm sorry. Like, you need to figure this 